Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hello everyone. Today we see how to create a really cool and easy effect that you can see in here. So it's like a half drawing in the paper and half it's popping out from the paper. So we see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. Okay, so open your Adobe Photoshop and uh, first you need like to download this wood and paper texture in here that I will make sure like to upload in the link from the description below so just open the wood texture just open it in Adobe Photoshop and first like we need like to make this uh, wood a little bit darker so we we'll just apply a level adjustment to it so I'd like to make it darker a little bit something like that all right now I will apply hue saturation so I will desaturate the color so we'll just go and choose hue saturation and I will try to make it minus 30 or 35 now uh, I will open the paper texture in here just drag it and open it and I will just try to make it bigger something like that and I will just rotate it All right something like that okay now we just desaturate I will just resize it and I will desaturate it by pressing shift control U and I will apply a little bit of shadow to it so I will just double click to open the layer style dialog and I will choose drop shadow and I will uncheck use global light and I will make the opacity for like 60% and I will just try to place the shadow in here and I will make the size like 10 pixel and I will try to maybe 50% in the opacity alright something like that please ok now let me put everything in a group and I will call this background now I will open the, the picture that you want to use I will just use the same picture in here and I will press Ctrl I to uh, select everything and Ctrl C to copy everything Ctrl V to paste everything now I will press Ctrl T to transform it it smaller a little bit and let me down the opacity a little bit so you can see all right so somewhere in here okay let's go and just place it okay make it 100 again now I will just load the selection of this paper in here and I will reverse the selection by pressing shift control I and I will delete what's uh, outside the paper so press control D to deselect now I will use uh, will basically use like the same method to uh, turn a picture into a drawing so uh, but we'll add a little bit extra to it so we see that in a second so uh, I need uh, so we need like to keep one in color so we press ctrl G two times to make two copy let me call this original and I will drag it in top and I will just save it in here now I will desaturate this two by pressing shift ctrl U and this one shift ctrl U now it's uh, like uh, the known method we just turn the blending mode to color dodge and then I will press ctrl I to reverse the selection and then I will go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and this depends on the, the, the image you are using I will just uh, make the radius 8 you might like use another values so we just press ok and 
uh, if you don't like the the results like of the sketching in here you can just apply a level adjustment and try to make it appear more make sure like to, to put a clipping mask so it will affect just uh, this layer in here so just try like to make it appear all right something like that looks cool now uh, I will uh, duplicate this picture in here this image in here and I will drag it in top now uh, we, I would just add a little bit of uh, sketching in here so I will just apply a filter gallery so we go to filter filter gallery and in the sketch folder in here just open it and uh, you find a, a, a filter in here called charcoal thickness so just uh, choose this one in here and make uh, the charcoal to 2 and the details 5 and uh, the, dark, the light and dark I just make uh, 75 but you might like need to use different values so I will just uh, make uh, keep keep this value in here and press ok now uh, we need like to reverse the selection so we just invert it so we just press ctrl i to invert the selection and as you can see it will make it look like uh, sketchy in here now uh, I will just make the opacity for like uh, 40% and I will change the blending mode to multiply let me see yeah multiply and and as you can see uh, it doesn't like give a really a really nice effect to the hair so we just double click to it to open the layer side dialog and I will choose the blend if option so we just drag this handle in here by pressing alt I can just split them and drag one just somewhere like between 128 as you can see this will make like the gray uh, disappear so I will just try like to just that alright somewhere like this and I'll press OK as you can see this is give it like a really nice extra effect to it as you can see in here now we're done with the drawing in here so we just make everything in the group by pressing Ctrl G let me call this sketch and uh, we just change the blending mode to multiply as you can see like we can all, always like uh, make a snapshot by pressing shift ctrl alt e it's better to do that let me just uh, uncheck the background so we just keep the image so press shift ctrl alt e and this way we have the, the image in here so now we can turn the, the blending mode to uh, multiply as you can see and now I will just apply a layer mask so I will delete this part in here that I don't want to use so I will just delete with a black color this part in here alright something like that as you can see now we'll go to the, uh, the original image in here we just make it appear and this time it's easy to do we just apply a layer mask to it and we just delete the parts that we don't want to use to be to appear like drawing so we just delete these parts in here and in the, the hair too it will give it this really nice effect in the hair as you can see you can make the opacity down so it will fade to the original picture and the shoulders this will make it like the sketch effect appear as you can see
you need like to keep the hands this all right the face all right now i will just turn down the opacity for like 70 percent and then i will just make a copy of it by pressing ctrl g and I will make the opacity for like 50% and I will just make it fade more in the edges in here all right just draw in the same all right so we just make it fade Face appear more something like that and hands. So it's really nice effect to do. All right, now I will just uh, play with the tones of the image. So I will just make a curve adjustment to it. And I will just play with the red and the green, so I'll just make three points in here and try like to appear more red to the image for the hair and the lipstick. Go to the green. Alright, something like that. Okay, it looks cool. Now, if you want, like to make it appear more, you can just apply high pass. So I would just. Uh, take a snapshot by pressing shift ctrl alt e and make it in black and white by pressing shift ctrl u now change the blending mode to linear light and go to filter other high pass and just give it uh, 0 0.8 or you know play with that between 0 0.5 to 1 and now we need like uh, as you can see it will give it a really nice details to appear more so but we only need like this to be uh, shown in the paper so we can just go to the paper texture and load the selection of the paper and just press the layer style and it will just affect the paper in here and there you go it's that easy to do try it with different images and i hope this tutorial was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching